was history making. Was, he was ambassador to the UN, I think. There was a, a thing in the wing, the Saturday Evening Post was coming out in a, a few days with an article deliberately designed to scuttle him and, and get him out of there. And uh, we had been at a White House dinner and my wife sat next to uh, a cabinet level person who said to her, you might uh, have your husband ask Adlai Stevenson to be a guest on his program, it would be interesting. And my wife said, why? And he said, I'm not at liberty to tell you why, but if he asks, I, I guarantee you he'll find it interesting. So she told me, so I called Stevenson. And he said, yes, he'd, he'd uh, like to. His people said, yes, he'd be glad to do it. And I said, what about uh, Thursday or something? I, I remember. An hour later, they called back and said, could he come on tomorrow instead of Thursday? And I said, well, yeah, I guess he was important enough that we could move something around. So he came on tomorrow because he had gotten wind of the fact that this was on to, to scuttle him. And on the air, I was able to say to him, uh, there, because uh, I knew by then what it was, and I said, uh, uh, this move on the part of the administration to unseat you, I said, do you, do you have any, uh, uh, do you think there's any substance to that, or do you think that uh, you'll get a vote of confidence from the administration? And Stevenson said, I can't speak for the administration, but I'm sure if fairness prevails, and so on, he goes into his spiel and everything, and the whole coup collapsed, and he remained as a, as a result of being on the Today Show, because it would have been maybe too embarrassing for them to go through with whatever plan they had. That's uh, one of the few times that I've had a, a pivotal point in some historic uh, event.